I'm so glad that comes first. You see, first off, I want to tell you why I call this show One Breath. Because the floor says One Breath. I had no choice. I had to go with the floor. What can I tell you? Actually, I wanted to call it One Breast. They have misspelled this. <laughs> this is going to be a show. Well, never mind about all that. I want to thank everybody for coming. I see a lot of theater people out there. I'm ready to slam theater. <laughs> Not really. I love theater. I really do from afar. Theater people are scum. Uh -huh. Aren't they? Theater people, how can I describe them? Much like I describe men. <laughs> Theater people are the non-edible poisonous jelly on the underside of a dead tortoise laying belly up in the noonday sun <laughs> And I mean that with the utmost respect, I swear I do. I mean that with kindness in my heart, you know. Look around you, you'll see the people I'm talking about. Oh, and I want to tell you all about my haircut. It's fabulous or what? I lost the eight evangelical pomp that I've carried for so many years. But I can tell you how to avoid this haircut. Never call your hairdresser a lesbian. He will get even. Trust me. Good and boom, I like this guy. My band, Sandy and the Ponytails, what do you think? Are they fabulous? Are they fabulous? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I went, to a, I went to an audition Sunday. I saw lots of wonderful people singing and dancing and doing all kinds of wonderful things there. I saw one guy, gee, what was his name? It escapes me. <laughs> what was his name? I can't remember. Um, how can I describe him? I will try. I will give it my best shot. What was his name? It was Mandy or Brandy or... Sandy, or we'll call him Randy. It was one of those Andy names. Use your imagination. I have not said anything I can get in trouble for so far. Now, this man shows up for an audition. This is fabulous. You would love this. He shows up for an audition wearing a black blouse, not a shirt. There is a difference. I don't even have one of these in my closet. Don't make me go back in there to prove it, okay? I'm not doing it. A black blouse. It had puff sleeves. It had a life of its own. Its collar was lovingly turned down with a small barrette shoved right into the breast era. On top of that... On top of that was the matching and coordinated beautifully black vest. Tucked ever so lovingly to the sides of the waist, coming back out again for the hips. He was wearing, to also match it, black culottes. These were not shorts. There is a difference. I do not have any of these in my drawers, either. He was wearing socks lovingly turned down in equal proportion. And sneakers, not athletic shoes, not tennis shoes. These were sneakers. Now, you think the ensemble is finished, don't you? No. No, he had to accent it with approximately a five foot long multicolored scarf. Did I say scarf? I meant scarf. This, ladies and gentlemen, and I can't remember his name, what was that? <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, was the same guy I rang up about three years ago and I said, hey, you know, one of the, one of the, sh one of the show companies on the coast is going to do La Caja Fall. Are you going to audition for that? He said, no. People might think I'm gay. <laughs> I got a mystery for you. blouses. Why? You may ask yes or no questions. There will be a pop quiz later. Now, I move on. 